Um, now, Jane, talking about uh, concerns, we've had loads of people getting in touch because obviously you were on the show on Wednesday, you were anchoring on Wednesday, and you were clearly toiling with your, your voice. Yeah. And lots of people saying, how's oh, Jane, how's Jane, how's she doing? I mean, yeah. this is how it was sounding then on Wednesday. Um, my voice is hoping to join us, but let's see <laughs> how we go on with the rest of the show. The bouncy blow dry is out and low maintenance hair is in. But is it easier said than done not to spend hours perfecting your locks? Oh, God, you are such a trooper, Jane, you really are. Though I have to say, we did spend four hours in a bar together yesterday and it seemed to be all right, <laughs> you know. It Does it did. hurt when it's like that? No, that's no. the thing. I think when people hear it, they think, oh, that sounds really painful. And it's not painful at all. It's just, um, it's like, you know, when you get just run down mm. or you're exhausted or you've probably just been working a bit too much. Ever since I was a kid, it's always my voice that goes. Mm. That's my weak spot. That's mm. where my exhaustion comes out. So <clears throat> it's actually a lot better today. I've got yeah. a lot more power, but it's not painful. I don't have a temperature. Yeah. I don't have any infection, nothing at all. It's just a But you have a got weakness. a lot on your plate at the moment. Yeah. You, you're yeah. kind of doing everything in the house. Yeah. Cause yeah. I'm, a bit, I'm a bit sandwiched down. between everybody's, uh, mm. everybody's needs. But mm. yeah, you know, that's life, isn't it? And, yeah. But that, that's, that's my weakness. And I think everybody's got something, haven't they, where when they get run down, something happens to them. That... And, it and it probably it is a... your body's way of yeah. saying, you know... Slow down. It can be yeah. used as a strength, though, can't it, in a way? Because if you know what it is that's signalling something to you, yeah. it's like my skin, or who I, I used to suffer <laughs> terribly with it, it would get so bad I couldn't work. And now I've learnt that when, I, when it starts to go, that I have to say... Am I sleeping enough? What am I stressed about? What am I really stressed? And then I just sort of think about how I'm looking and after myself. And what is myself. it, like hives? It's, oh, it's just, I get open sores, eczema. It's yeah. just, it's absolutely, you've seen it over the yeah, years, yeah. haven't you? It's terrible. But, I, but I've learned how that, that means I have to look after myself better. Mm. And can you always link it to some form of stress? Sometimes it's particular stuff, like I can be funny with aromatherapy oils, but it's often about stress and it can go so bad that I have to end up on steroids if I ignore yeah. it. Yeah. So that's what I mean when I say it can be your strength, because there's always signals that you're not yeah. looking after yourself. It's just whether we listen to them or not. And they do yeah. say sometimes the skin, and I know some people suffer with terrible skin conditions, but sometimes it, people would argue that it's kind of coming out and that's a good thing. I don't yeah. know if that's well, true or not. Well, it's hard when it's really... Because, I mean, mine was so bad that I couldn't work, couldn't pick up my baby, couldn't do... It was so awful yeah. at the beginning, but, but it's yeah. It's painful, I, isn't it? Gary, oh. Gary gets... I mean, not very often, but when he's really stressed, he, he sort of... I know instantly because his eyes start yeah. to swell up with like hives. Mm. For you, it's your bowels, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Kate. There was no need no to bring that, that up. Come on. Oh, I'm I'm on. Right. You do have a terrible truck. Oh, are you bowels as well? Yeah. Are you? The oh, you're a bowel girl yeah. too. <laughs> when I was a kid, it used to be like a running family joke that I used to just have a bottle of Pepto Bismol, you know, like the indigestion. Oh, God, as a child. In my bag, yeah, because I just always used to have stomach aches and stuff oh, like that. That's a huge so, one for stress yeah. all, all around the stomach. Yeah, the gut's the anxiety, brain. obviously, like anxiety I get. If so, and do you think it was it was absolutely linked? Oh, 100 percent yeah. They used to always give me blood tests and things like that, and it wasn't until I got older that they were like, oh, it's when you're anxious or So do you tired use that as a sort of trigger to look after yourself, maybe take a bit more time when you feel it going? Probably a bit more now, but I think we yeah. all kind of try and ignore it, don't yeah. we, for as long yeah. as possible, and then you keep kind of go, going, oh, keep going. Yeah. That's how you get in that state, I think. Yeah. Talk us through your bowels, Kate. Yeah, come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I'm I'm trying to say her then. Thing. Thank you, Frankie. Don't thank you. Never <laughs> save her, Frankie. No, I, I tell you what I was going to say. I was going to try and put in a serious point just to get away from my bowels. <laughs> no, I was just thinking that at the moment, you know, when the health service is under such an enormous amount mm. of strain, you know, that we maybe really have to do more self-management than we have... Well, we should always do it. More but holistic. it's so important mm. to kind of look after ourselves because we hear so many horror stories, don't we, that the health service at the moment isn't necessarily in a position to treat everyone, no. yeah. which is a really scary well, thing. Well, a lot of people, because they can't get to see their GP, they're turning up at A&E because &E yeah. yeah. they're desperate. Yeah. And then, of course, you've got, like, a 14-hour wait yeah. at A&E for something that should be done because a lot of GPs still aren't seeing face-to-face, -face, which yeah. I find astonishing. Yeah, so we've really got to kind of do everything that we can, within reason. I think within people reason. are more aware now of trying yeah. to... We are all trying to find 
ways to look after ourselves better and yeah, it's not always well, possible when yeah. you're busy, is it? And anyway, my bells are very good, thank you oh, very much. Goodness. It's really nice of you to ask. Good. They're, yeah, they're, they're playing really ball is. today. No, they're doing really, really well. <laughs> they weren't good when I was your age, though. I actually had to go to a scan. I had such problems with them. Yeah. And uh, the guy actually looked at my scan. He had the inside of my, you know, plumbing up there. And he said, you know what, Kate, you're as full of shh as anyone I've ever met. <laughs> Which I think has stayed true for most of my life, actually. <laughs> That's Still exactly how I would describe you. <laughs>